I so in the, in the last session if you remember I told you I'm going to find out some some other new way to welcome you rather than say my usual hi how are you welcome back and this is your fourth session in this series so today I tried waving my hands hopefully that's uh, good enough for this session I, I promise to get more innovative uh, as this thing goes forward all right so in your last session you you learned what a cash flow statement is you know what are the different components of cash flow statement you also know what role a cash flow statement plays in a company uh, trying to bridge the gap between or reconcile the balance sheet and the income statement you know all of that and what you are going to do in this class in this session rather is to actually understand how to actually build a very basic cash flow statement and also understand some basic concept as what is a free cash flow and how analysis is done using a cash flow statement that is what the focus of the session is going to be so with that in mind you probably remember uh, this sheet right here that we built from the last session where Domino's end cash in 2008 was 2.1 crores and then their cash balance in 2009 was 3 crores and then we said the purpose of a cash flow statement is to get from one cash balance to the other cash balance and to figure out what happened and there are three different things that could happen one is stuff that happens in the operations of a company that is you know making their products selling their products the second is stuff that happens in the investment activities of a company that is you know the company is investing in future growth like stores and uh, uh, you know interiors and the brand and things like that and uh, the finally the money that goes in and comes out of financing activities like the company borrows money it has to pay interest rates and all of that we said if we take the starting cash balance and compensate that number to all of these three buckets of activities we will get to the ending cash balance so we will see how to do it now we could attempt to do this with the real dominoes um, cash flow statement but that is going to take forever to complete because there is you know like 85 different transactions in that so what I've done is I've actually excuse me I've actually tried to snapshot it just for our purposes a very you know a small sample of customized a sample for our needs so what I have done is we have a cash flow statement here uh, this is your one line income statement you know we should we wish it was as simple as that but this income statement has only one line which is the bottom line of income statement net income in 2008 is 1 crore and in 2009 the net income is 1.3 crores now this is a mini balance sheet I put together cash in 2008 is 2.1 crores that's the same number here cash in 2009 is 3 crores that's the same number here stores I'm, I'm just basically saying this company all their stores in 2008 was worth 0.5 crores which is 50 lakhs but in 2009 all their stores assets are worth 0.7 crores that's 70 lakhs so basically between 2008 and 2009 the company has spent an extra 20 lakhs which is the 50 lakhs plus the 20 lakhs they have invested that in hard assets stores and all of that and then I've also said let me make this clear um, accounts receivables essentially this is the amount of money others have to give the company essentially the company has sold the product but the company has not got cash uh, for that revenue yet revenue probably has been recognized but cash has not been obtained yet so in 2008 accounts receivable was 20 lakhs in 2009 it went up by another 20 lakhs to become 40 lakhs so we're going to see how to reconcile this two 2.1 crore cash balance to the three three crore cash balance and as we know the first place we start is the cash flow from operating activities and essentially uh, you know you could go through the income statement one by one but what is the bottom line after all your revenue and expenses that is your net income so you write down your sorry you write down your net income as cash flow from operating activities so what is the money from net income in 2009 1.3 crores so this is 1.3 crores of profit that the company gets so it's a positive number you write down 1.3 crores of money came into the company so uh, now can we just go to the investing investing activities no no before we do that let's double check the balance sheet to make sure if anything has changed in the operations of the company um, 
cash is cash we have already accounted for the cash here um, stores what has happened here the company has invested in stores now is this an operating activity well you could argue well it's stores it's only because of the stores that customers can come and pizzas are made and customers can eat the pizza but you know investment in a store is for a long-term activity it's for that year and for the probably the next five seven years the store has been in, they're investing money so <clears throat> investment in, cap in capital capital goods it's generally called you know capital expenditure and that is actually an investing activity because the benefits of that happen over a period of time so in stores what is what has happened here end of 2008 all your stores were worth 50 lakhs but in 2009 the value of the stores went up to 70 lakhs so if the value of the stores went up by 20 lakhs that means cash went down by 20 lakhs right meaning if stores had to go up by 20 lakhs the value of your stores where did you get the money to fund the stores you use the money from your cash so this is a negative number so you have to subtract 20 lakhs from this two crores uh, because that money was spent trying to um, build new stores and then what do we have left here? We have something called accounts receivable. Now, accounts receivable is essentially cash that somebody has to pay you. Okay, it's possible that you've, you've given them the product, you've probably even recognized part of the revenue. So this net income probably actually includes the revenue that is attributed to the accounts receivable, but you have not got the cash yet. This is hopeful. So if, if you had, so if, if you had not recognized the revenue, your net income would actually have been uh, 20 lakhs uh, lower. But since you actually took the whole net income in, and this is money you've not got, which is 20 lakhs, this account has gone up from 20 lakhs to 40 lakhs. So your accounts receivable went up by 20 lakhs. So that is a uh, that is a cash flow from operations because your accounts receivable always have to do with your revenue. Your revenue is an operating activity. So your accounts receivable is a negative 20 lakhs. Now is that it? Have we covered anything? Yeah, sure. We have a column here saying financing activity, but based on this income statement, there is no loan or anything. And this, sorry, this balance sheet does not have a loan and neither does this income statement have an interest expense or anything of that kind. So there is no cash flow from financing activities. So now let us see if this 2.1 crores, if, if all these if all these cash flows reconcile this 2.1 crores to our 3 crores. All right, let's, let's see that. If I say sum of, sorry, if I say sum of all this, ideally this should be 3 crores. It is 3 crores, right? So you see 2.1 crores plus 1.3 crores, that is uh, 3.4 crores. You subtract 2 crores there, that's 3.2 crores. Then you subtract another 2 crores there, that's a 3 crore. And that is your ending balance of 2009. And that is your simple cash flow statement.